Yakuza. It's took you eight attempts, <laughs> but you finally broke the b brace curse. Uh, you've got the hat trick ball in hand. <laughs> How's it feel? Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, obviously, I, I, I want to do my bit for the team, but it's always nice for a striker to to score a, a hat trick, you know, and, and on the back of a, a, a good performance and a good win, you know, they're a, they're a good side and we had to be at our best today to, to do it. But yeah, I'm absolutely delighted to get a hat trick. Is it something that has sort of been eating away at you a little bit? Yeah, I think a little bit, but I don't, I try not to put too much pressure on myself, you know, like if I score one, great, if I score two, even better, but if I, if I score a hat trick, brilliant. But and if I don't score, it's, it's fine. You know, I don't, I don't really put that much pressure on myself. But yeah, there's been a few occasions this season where I scored a couple and it's kind of like, oh, I just could have had action. Could have had more today, you know, I've missed chances, but yeah, I'm just delighted to keep scoring goals. And to finally have it in your hand, sort of uh, have it as well as Liam, who scored one earlier on in the season against he uh, Hebben. Where does it rate in terms of other individual awards across your career? Yeah, you know, it's, all, it's I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of all the boys this season. I'm proud of the club where how far we've come individual accolades uh, along the way you know being top goal scorer um it, it's right up there you know and the group that we've got it just makes that extra bit special and the fans the from the chairman the manager as i say the players we're all together in it and and it's it's pr i'm proud to be part of something uh, like this because it is it is special and the two goals that came it was it was quite a close affair you would have probably not guessed that it had finished the way that it did after that, them opening 15 minutes how important were those two first headers initially yeah you know coming off the back of a the the draw against Bridlington you know we where we've you know they've they, they're the team that's took points off us um, and, and broke that winning streak you want to bounce back and we've got a group in there that that want we're, we're eager for this game you know so them two the, them two goals kind of relaxed us a little bit um, but you saw how relentless we were and ruthless you know especially in front of goal delighted for um, Liam obviously um, took his goals really well and Tav coming off the bench Luke Hall was was class when he come on and the, the ball he was put in for me was unbelievable and and, and to a man um, everyone on the pitch was on the front foot you know I think it's up there with one of the best performances of the season and then that third, just talk us through what was going through your head and the moments just after when you knew you'd confirmed that hat-trick. You know what it was? When the ball was going up for Alex, I was going to gamble off him, which is normally the other way around, because I'm normally the one winning the headers. So it, it's Alex has made that goal for me, uh, to be honest, because he's, it's, a, it's a great header. I've just got across my man. And, you know, if you don't put your name in the hat, you, you don't win the ticket, you know, as, the, as the, the saying goes, or what have you. Um, and when it went into the back of the net, I was I was delighted in front of the the fans as well. Um, it was it was it was a special moment. So yeah, I'm buzzing. Obviously, the, the tweet earlier on talking about the goal scorers at this level must have had a bit of fire in your belly. But also, you've hit and got over 30 goals uh, for the Tigers now for this season. Uh, how pleased are you to to sort of keep just topping up that and getting to another milestone in, in the 30s? Absolutely. Like as a striker, as you say, it's not about necessarily them numbers uh, you want to score goals but for me I, I think we had a, an interview back when we played who was it Brighouse um, and I said I'm not here for individual accolades I'm here to get this club back to where it belongs to be um, so if I can score goals on the way and surpass that 30 and keep going you know what is the left 15 games um, let's see where I can get to but more importantly let's get this this over the line now and, and just take it one game at a time because our feet are firmly on the ground the manager uh, and the players in the in the dressing room there no one gets above themselves um, and we keep doing the right things preparing right and next, on to the next game yeah let's let's talk stop talking about yourself we're always bored about talking about <laughs> your goals but as a collective we've also surpassed 100 goals in all competitions this season um, albeit you were the man to, to take us over that line. Uh, how has it been sort of sharing the goals out? Because we've not talked, we've talked about so, obviously your goals, but there's a lot of assists for yourself in there. Jay's got a number uh, number of goal involvements too. Yeah, look, we've got some, we've got players that can create, we've got players that can score, you know, and, and we've got players who can dictate play. Um, and with that combination uh, and the quality that we have, we're always going to cause chance, uh, uh, get chances, score goals. Uh, and cause a lot of problems. So as a collective, I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing for the players, I'm buzzing for every single one of them in there. Uh, you know, we're a tight-knit group. To take us over 100, 100 goals, like in, in um, competitive fixtures, it's, it's a remarkable stat, 
you know and I'm just proud again to be part of that uh, as we can see at the uh, with a bump on your head uh, you've been at the wars again today and, and no, next week will be no different uh, the, the Ponty versus Workshop uh, history in terms of fixtures has always been a fight uh, a feisty affair uh, very cagey um, and next week probably won't be any different will it? No of course not you know we know, we know what we're um, we're going there to expect um, but look nothing in life and football is it, it comes easy you know if you want to win things and you want to do do something you've got to be willing to you know get a put your body where it hurts do the dirty work um, and win at all costs and we've got a group of lads in there that that will then you know we go to to Pontefract we know there's history there we know there's players from both sides with the management so it, there's that little bit of fire there uh, but we will approach it like any other game uh, and we'll go to get three points